over town and everywhere we went people turned us down oh lord in a bourgeois town in a bourgeois town gonna spread the news all around me and my wife we went all over town and everywhere we went people turned us down oh lord in a bourgeois town in a bourgeois town gonna spread the news all around home of the brave and land of the free Ain't gonna be mistreated by no bourgeoisie, oh Lord, in a bourgeois town, in a bourgeois town, gonna spread the news all around. Hear it, boys? Hear it? Hell, listen to me. Coast to coast. Hello, America. Hello. We're stormbirds of the working class, Strike. workers of the world, Strike. our bones and blood. Strike. And when we die, they'll know what we did to make a new world. Strike. Christ, cut us up in little pieces. Strike. You'll die for what is right. Strike. There's fruit trees where ashes are. Strike. But what's the answer? Strike. Louder! Strike. Again! Strike! 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 Strike. The greatest crisis facing America today is a lack of imagination. The wealth gap in America has become so vast that the rich and the poor can no longer even imagine one another's lives. The same could probably be said across all of America's fault lines, race, class, gender, religion, and politics. Without imagination, we cannot see. And without seeing one another, we cannot be seen in return. This culminates in a void of compassion that festers at the heart of our culture. Theater in America has the unique ability to inspire imagination and reinvigorate the heart. But in order for theater to meet this moment, theater has to reimagine itself. Theater has to innovate. I come from two parents who grew up impoverished in the Midwest, and I myself grew up low income with a brilliant father trapped in alcoholism and a gifted mother trapped in financial constraints. For all of my parents' gifts, the crushing weight of poverty was such that the world could not imagine a place for them to be seen. And they could not imagine a world where they belonged. For all of, neither of my parents were seen in the course of their lives. But their heroic feat was imagining a world in which their children would be. My world is theater. I once played Romeo in a production of Romeo and Juliet that toured high schools, and in the balcony scene, I leapt off the stage and proclaimed my love to Juliet. And this kid in the front row goes, oh shit, this shit is 3D. <laughs> this is one of my favorite experiences because the kid is actually speaking truth to a larger cultural phenomenon that we all share. We are forgetting how to recognize life when it is right in front of us. Not on a screen that is feeding us images, but life that requires our imagining. Theater is the space of life, a metaphorical space always playing upon our imagination. Our collective imagination is triggered when we suspend our disbelief and we see a stick become a sword or one actor transform from one character to another. Every theater artist knows that the real feat of imagining is not concocting a fantasy, but imagining reality. The reality of another's lived experience different than our own the reality of our own lives that remains unseen, the reality of a changing America, of job loss, racism, sexism, oppression, or climate change. These can be difficult to imagine if we are not living them. And if we are living them, it can feel enraging and impossible to get others to imagine. Imagining the news is different than looking at it or even thinking about it. Imagination means an image in action. In the theater, 
When an image is in action, it takes hold. It becomes a visceral experience. It infiltrates the body. We connect to it. We suffer with it. We feel compassion. We are bound. And in being bound to the reality of life that is bigger than ourselves, we are renewed. Seven years ago, I was sitting on a bus in Chicago, holes in my shoes, racing from my minimum wage job on the north side to rehearsal on the south side. And I would find myself overwhelmed with gratitude for the bus drivers doing their job so well, a job I would never want, and yet it was critical in allowing me to pursue my dream. I would wonder, how can this gift of theater come back around and, and serve these bus drivers the way they are serving me? I would sit on that bus as one of the many folks who was worn and weary after a long day at work, and I would think, this is where the renewable power of theater needs to be. And then I would arrive at rehearsal or performance, and I would see something a little too hollow. And I would think, we as artists need to feel connected to something bigger than ourselves if we are ever going to fulfill the potential power that theater has to offer. We as artists need those bus drivers and people on the bus as much, if not more, than they would ever need us. And this is where the Ubuntu Theater Project was born. Ubuntu is a Zulu proverb. It means, I am because we are, or my humanity is tied to yours. It is a South African word. It is not my word. But it is a value I honor. It is a value I strive to live by. And it is a value I believe America desperately needs. The Ubuntu Theater Project is the only year-round professional theater company in Oakland, California, a city of 300,000 residents and newly named one of the most diverse cities in America. Our mission is to use exquisite theatrical experiences to inspire compassion and forge bonds across socioeconomic and racial barriers. Most of our work has been site-specific, meaning we bring critically acclaimed, award-winning work directly to Oakland communities. Janitors and surgeons are sitting next to one another in auto mechanic shops, Persian rug stores, churches, warehouses, all over Oakland, sharing an experience that inspires compassion. Because in compassion, there is no hierarchy. There is humanity. And now, we are exploring building the first theater in America built out of shipping containers. A state-of-the-art 200-seat theater that could scale across America and move from one location to another. This revolutionary model would allow us to continue offering pay-what-you-can tickets at the door for every performance, so nobody is turned away for lack of funds. This is what makes the Ubuntu Theater Project special. On stage, off stage, and in the audience, we have created a space that binds together people from every divide you can imagine so that we can see one another and be seen in return. And we have made a home together in the Ubuntu Theater Project. How we pay attention can change the world. Theater asks who, where, and what are we paying attention to, and who can afford to pay attention. Theater can be where we reconnect to humanity, the whole of humanity, and the infinite ways in which I am because we are. Without seeing one another and being seen in return, every other attempt at a solution will fall short. For us, there is no quota. This is not charity. This is excellence as a result of reimagining the reality of America as it truly is. We went all over town And everywhere we went People turned us down Oh, oh Lord In a bourgeois, bourgeois town. town In a bourgeois, bourgeois town. town Gonna 